You're watching my English channel. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be telling you one of the most famous Javanese folklore. It is called Timun Mas. All right, let's kick off. A long time ago, there was an old woman who lived alone and had no children. She made a living by collecting woods in a forest. She wanted to have a child so badly that she prayed to God to give her one. One day on her way home, she met a green giant who said that he could give her a child. Ho oh, ho ho, I can give you a child on one condition. You must give the child back to me when the child has grown up, said the giant loudly. Then the green giant gave her a bag of cucumber seeds and asked her to plant the seeds on her house yard. Soon the old woman went home and planted the seeds on her house yard as the green giant told her to do so. After two months, the seeds grew into cucumber plants. The old woman noticed there was a golden cucumber grew from the plants. Carefully, she plucked the golden cucumber and carried it home. She sliced the cucumber gently and smoothly. To her surprise, she saw a beautiful baby girl inside the cucumber. The woman was so happy and she named the baby Timun Mas. Timun Mas grew into a lovely, beautiful girl. The old woman loved her so much. Years went by and the old woman became more and more worried when she remembered her promise to the giant. One night, while the old woman was sleeping, she heard a voice telling her to see an old hermit who lived on a mountain nearby to ask for help. It was said that the old hermit could free Timun Mas from becoming the giant's meal. The next morning, the old woman went to see the hermit who then gave her four cloth bags containing cucumber seeds, needles, salt, and shrimp paste. According to the hermit, the four bags could only be used when Timun Mas was in great danger. Suddenly, the earth shook. It was the giant who came to take Timun Mas from the old woman. Timun Mas, where are you? I'm so hungry, I want to eat you, said the giant impatiently. The old woman was so afraid and asked Timun Mas to quickly run away from the giant. My dear child, you should go now. Bring these four bags with you. They will save you, said the old woman tenderly. Soon afterwards, the old woman went out of the house and faced the giant. Oh, hey, old woman, where is your child? I'm so starving. Mr. Giant, I'm so sorry. My child isn't here. I don't know where she is, said the old woman with great fear. What? She's gone? I'm gonna find her now, said the giant angrily. Meanwhile, Timun Mas was still running while the giant was looking for her. Timun Mas got shocked and even more fearful to see that the giant could finally find her. Then she remembered that her mother had given her four cloth bags that could save her from the giant. She took the first bag which contained cucumber seeds and threw them at the giant. Surprisingly, the seeds grew into large cucumber plants that blocked the giant's way for a while. But the giant could eat all the cucumbers easily. After eating the cucumbers, the giant continued chasing Timun Mas. Timun Mas, wait for me! I'm gonna catch you! Timun Mas quickly grabbed the second bag and threw the needles at the giant who kept chasing her tirelessly. The needles directly turned into a large bamboo forest once it touched the ground. However, the giant could pass through the second obstacle, though it hurt his feet. Oh no! Mr. Giant can escape from the bamboo forest! What should I do now? 
said Timun Mas anxiously. Then Timun Mas took the third cloth bag which contained salt and spread the salt behind her. Suddenly, a huge sea appeared behind her, drowning the evil giant. Once again, the evil giant could escape from the third obstacle easily. Soon, Timun Mas desperately opened the last cloth bag which her mother gave to her. It was shrimp paste. The shrimp paste magically turned into boiling volcanic mud which drowned the giant forever. Oh no! Help! Help! yelled the giant helplessly. Timun Mas was so happy that she could finally get away from the evil giant. She went back home to see her mom who was waiting for her anxiously. Both Timun Mas and her mother were so happy that they could escape from the green giant. That's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. See ya.